It's Tuesday's Tools, featuring the intelligent betting tools at Unabated. I'm Jordan Cooper, a.k.a. Blender Ed, Blender HD, if you want to follow me on Twitter. And I have friends. Yeah, I know. It's maybe hard to believe, but I do have friends. That sports betting opened up in their state. They start playing around with DraftKings, FanDuel. They see the commercials, BetMGM, Caesars. They play around with it a bit. And they say to me, Jordan, you know what you're talking about. How do I stop losing as much money as I'm losing placing my bets on these retail sports books? Well, I tell them to go to Unabated. Use the odd screen and pay attention to one column. I think it's your biggest weapon, especially for recreational bettors. Your biggest weapon to get the best and biggest bang for your buck on any bets, on any given day. There are some people out there, maybe they're not looking, they're not looking to make a living. They're not looking to, they're not looking to beat the sports books, but they're trying to, to lose the least, right? Trying to not make dumb bets. I think that's that's that I mean, I think that's the first step you should make on your sports betting journey. Make sure you're not making any stupid bets. And a way to do that is paying attention to this column, this one specific column on unabated on the odd screen. And this, I'm even showing you, like, this is the free. This is the free version of unabated. You don't even have to pay for this, right? And it's the hold, right? And technically, this is not even the hold. This is the synthetic hold. Sounds like a fancy name. It's not really that fancy. It's pretty simple. And I can explain today what this column means and how to use it in your advantage, okay? So we're not going to do any fancy math. No advanced math on this channel, remember? Remember, people come and go, I don't want to do any calculations. I don't want to have to put, no, no fancy math, no nothing at all. But I'll explain exactly what this column is and why you could use it to your advantage. So what is hold? First off, people don't even know this. What is hold? Okay. Hold is the theoretical percentage that a sports book takes on an entire betting market. Okay. So I know there's the whole mantra of, oh, they want even money on both sides and everything like that. This is all in, in, in theory. But really what it is, is the difference in implied probability between one side, the other side, and how many actual outcomes there are. Okay. Sounds a little bit confusing. Let's go. Let's go to the sports betting notepad. You know, I like bringing this up on Google Drive. So you see, you see these lines across the board all the time, right? Team A, team B, here's the spread, six and a half, right? Minus 112 on one side, minus 108 on the other side, right? Typically, we call this like a 20-point spread, 20-cent spread, right? If you convert minus 112 to an implied probability, right? We could do that even with the odds calculator here at, uh, at Unabated, right? So minus 112, right? 52.8% right? That's what that is. That's right here. The other side plus six and a half is minus 108. Okay. Minus 108 is an implied probability of 51.9%. Okay. Add them together. When you add them together, you get 104.7%. So essentially they're taking bets as if there is 104.7% of potential outcomes. But obviously this is a two-sided bet, either a wins or B wins, right? In this case. So there's only 100% of outcomes, but they're taking in 104.7% of outcomes. So theoretically, they are holding 4.7% past the amount of available outcomes, right? We even see this in the money line, right? Team A minus 250, team B plus 200. So you convert that to implied probabilities, which isn't any fancy math. You don't have to do any fancy math. You could even just use the odds converter here at Unabated, right? So you go 71.4%, 33.3% on the other side. That's a total of 104.7%. Typically in sides and totals markets, the hold is around on a specific book, around 4 to 5%, right? In more efficient markets, the hold may be smaller. In less efficient markets, the hold may be bigger. That's what uh, sportsbooks do to defend themselves against potentially, you know, inefficient lines that they have, right? So typically, 
When a sports book has a very narrow line, that means they're very confident about the number, right? So you see NFL day of, right, of a Sunday game. A lot of times you may find the hold is like two and a half percent. You go on FanDuel and the numbers are much closer together. Then in the beginning of the week, they may be much wider. But here you show what a hold is. 4.7%, 4.7%. 4.7%, 4.7%. You could do, do it in prop markets. You could do it in any market. You could do in markets that have multiple. You could do futures markets, right? You could do it in a, you know, anytime goal score, home runs, a little bit more, a little bit more complicated. But all you're doing is com- taking the implied probabilities of all the bets, adding them up. There's only could be 100% worth of outcomes. And then what's, what's, the left, what's left over? That's the hold, okay? So here on the odd screen, so you see here on all these books over here, right, BetMGM, Caesars. So you can see here, Caesars, minus 141, plus 118. So what would be the hold in that market, right? We could just do it in real time, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you by the end that you're not going to have to do any of this math, right? That unabated is going to do it for you, okay? So minus 141, okay? Minus 141. Is 58.5%. Okay. Then we go here and uh, plus 118. Plus 118. 45.9%. 45.9 plus 58.5 is 104.4. So the hold in this market on Caesars and only on Caesars is 4.4%, about. So you could do that for every book. Every book has a hold. And some books have higher holds than other books, right? In certain markets, prop markets tend to be higher holds. Future markets, even higher. Sides and totals, closer to game time, efficient markets, much lower holds, okay? But then how come, you know, we see on Caesars here, minus 41, minus 141, plus 118, but it says here hold 1.68%. That's much lower than Caesars. Right, Caesars, we had 4.4%. So what is this? Where does this number come from? Well, this number is the synthetic hold. So it's not just the hold of Caesars, it's the hold of the entire market, or at least what's visible on, on the unabated screen, using the best price from one book for one side of the bet and the best price from another book on the other side of the bet. So we could see here on the notepad. So let's say there were three books, right? You get team A, team B, minus 250 plus 200, right? 71.4%, 33.3%, it adds up. All these all these three books have a 4.7% hold, right? But the second book, it's minus 240 plus 193. The third book is minus 225 plus 182. So obviously, if you were line shopping, if you would just, if you wanted to bet on team A, right? And you just simply line shopping, simply just, Getting the best number, getting the best price. You'd obviously bet minus 225. You'll get paid more than betting minus 250. But if you wanted to bet on the team B side, you make more by betting plus 200 rather than plus 193 or plus 182, right? So this is just simply line shopping. But what is the hold of the entire market? If obviously the market was these only three, these three books, right? So the best is A minus 225. The best is B plus 200. You add the implied probabilities together, subtract from 100. So synthetically, the hold is 2.5%. Okay, for the entire market, assuming efficiency. So the lower the synthetic hold of a market is, the less hold, the less money that you need to pay in order to participate in it. In general. Theoretically, when everything's efficient, I always have to throw those little asterisks in. Okay. And there are also situations when the synthetic hold could actually be negative. Right. So let's say we have, you know, across a market, we have these two books, minus 250 plus 200. Then another book has it at minus 182 plus 149. So the first one, they both have 4%, 4.7% holds. Like if you just looked at, at one book and you just looked at the other book, they would both have 4.7% holds. But the best price in market, team A minus 182, team B on the other book is plus 200. You add up the implied probabilities and you get 97.8%. 
but that's not even 100. So the market between the two books is offering, is offering to take in 97.8% of the problem of the outcomes, even though there's 100% of them. So this hold is actually negative, negative 2.2% synthetic hold, which is an arbitrage opportunity, which we could discuss on, on future videos. So theoretically, in actual, actually, in actuality, if you had the opportunity at this very moment to bet one side at minus 182 and one side at plus 200, you could bet a certain amount on both sides that you guarantee yourself a profit. The arbitrage between the two. This is a feature of understanding what synthetic hold is. So we take a look at the odd screen again. The lower the synthetic hold is in a market, assuming efficiency, assuming we're, especially as we're getting closer to game time, and the markets get more and more efficient. So we have college basketball up here. These are just money lines in general. So you can see here the Drexel Delaware game. Best price based on the odd screen, minus 134 in FanDuel, plus 125 on points bet. The synthetic hold between the two is 1.68%. So I didn't have to go to the odds. I didn't have to do. I didn't have to do that fancy math. It's not that fancy. It's simple. But I didn't have to do the math. It did the math for me. It shows me what the synthetic hold of this market is. Right? We go down here. We can see 2.5%. Right? The best price in market is Superbook. Minus 500 on this Prairie View, Mississippi Valley Station. I don't. I know nothing about college basketball. But I could look and see what are the synthetic holds of whatever books are available on the odd screen. So given the choice, knowing nothing about, nothing about college basketball, if I wanted to lose the least amount of money in the long run, right? Give myself the opportunity possibly to make plus EV bets. If you were to randomly, if you forced me to randomly bet on something, it's going to be something with the lowest synthetic hold. So you could even sort the odd screen by that, right? So it shows here, here, uh, Eastern Shore versus South Carolina State, 0.84% hold between, I don't know what books, uh, Pro Profit Exchange. I mean, this is, like I said, this is the free version. This shows all of these books, but obviously not all these books are created equal. If you Sign up for the, even the lowest tier, Unabated Essentials, right? You could log in, and I'm going to log in right now. And I'm going to show you that you could put in whatever books that you have access to that you want to compare. And it'll show you what the synthetic hold of that market of books are. Because the best line is only going to be right, all the books that you have in. So here are the books that I have access to in, in Kentucky. Right, so I got, I got Circa, FanDuel, DraftKings, Caesars, BetMGM, Bet365. Right, so you can show here. I could sort the same way before. Right, we're not going to worry about this edge numbers. We'll talk about this in another video. This is, you know, a part of the premium package at Unabated. We're just looking at the hold, just looking at the synthetic hold. So we see here this Delaware State North Carolina Central game, right? Between these two numbers, unabated will calculate what the value of the points are. So this is a this is a total. So under 137 and a half and minus 115, and over 136 at minus 105. If you did the calculation, the hold would be like a half a percent or something like that. Right? You don't have to you don't have to worry about the value of of well, what's the difference between the two, right? Because we see here on the spreads, right? Because one's plus six and a half, one's minus five and a half. So you can't just take the two of minus 115 and minus 110 because they're both different numbers, right? Money line is easier because you don't have to worry about that. So here's the money lines, right? Based on all the books that I have available to me, and I have it sorted by synthetic hold. So if I were to randomly, right, these are all the books that I have access to, and I want to randomly bet on something, just randomly, randomly. I know nothing about college basketball. It would be more advantageous to me to bet on the lowest synthetic hold markets. So this Texas Southern Arkansas Pine Bluff game, right? 
I chose to bet on anything. I'd, I'd, I'd have a better shot at making money, actually losing the least amount of money by betting that rather than going down and taking Morgan State with a 3.5% hold. The hold is almost double. And you could add books here, right? I could go into my settings. And here on Unabated, you could display any all the books that are available, anything, anything that you want, right? And it's sorted by also futures and props. So if you have a prop screen, you want to have different books on, you could do that as well. So I could display ones that I have access to, but I could also ca- have the best line be other things. I could put bookmaker here, right? I could put shark book P. We all know what that means, right? I can't bet on these books, these offshores, right? Right, Circa is not available in Kentucky yet, right? I could add sharper books so I could it could be incorporated into the best line, incorporated into the synthetic hold even though I can't, I can't bet on those, right? We may not want to include a, a book like points bet whose numbers tend to be the most inefficient and good luck, good luck getting more than $8 down, right? So maybe I add some of these, these sharper books, right? So I could do that here on unabated, right? Save that, right? It didn't add anything to the screen, right? You see here, Right. I, I I mean, I could view it if I wanted to. Right. But now it at least it'll incorporate into the into the best line, which then changes what the synthetic hold is. Right. The synthetic hold of of this uh, Lamar McNeese state is uh, minus one four fifty on bookmaker and plus four ten on Circa. Like none of none of the books that, that the retail books that I have access to have that best number. But here, FanDuel has the best number in Delaware State in a 1.47% hold market, right? So you could go through here using the odd screen. I go to spreads. I go to other 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 sports. I go to NBA on this given day. Go to NBA. I'm going to bet on an NBA game. Well, here you go. Here are the spreads, right? You could see that uh, Sharp Book P is a lot of the best numbers in market, right? You go to go to the money line, right? Brooklyn Nets, minus 132. I have access on FanDuel. It's a 1.71% synthetic hold market. That's a much better, that's much better than betting on a 4% hold market. That's way better than betting on some 6, 7% prop hold market, unless obviously you have an edge and you have projections and stuff like that. Or an SGP, some of these SGPs. You start putting together four, five, six, seven leg SGBs, parlays, right? 20%, 25% hold. That's where a lot of a lot of recreational betters, that's where your money's going. Your money is going towards high hold markets. The number one weapon you have may not be as sexy. If you want to bet, especially recreationally, like this is not this is not about like uh, making a million dollars or anything. This is about having fun. This is the equivalent of going to the casino. People love going to the casino, right? They go to roulette, right? They go to double zero roulette, five and a quarter percent. That's a five and a quarter percent hold, right? House edge. So you bet on black, you bet on red. You don't realize there's two green numbers on the board, right? You're getting paid as if there's only 35 slots when there's 37 slots. Right. So much better if there was only one one zero, right? I guess there's some places that offer single zero roulette. The hold goes down in half. Instead of five and a quarter percent. Now you're paying, you know, two and two point seven five percent. Same at the blackjack table. Right? You go to a blackjack table that only pays what six to five on uh on uh, on blackjack, that's much different than three to two. Right? You're getting paid less, which means the hold goes up. The hold goes up. So this is the equivalent. Caring about the synthetic hold of a market this is the equivalent of playing perfect basic strategy blackjack. Right? Of course, it's better if you obviously there's hold carding, there's counting, there's tons of tons of little tricks, right? Depending on the rules, depending on the shoe, depending on the dealer, depending there's tons of stuff. If you want to beat blackjack. But the first thing 
The first thing to do in the casino is if you had a choice between playing basic strategy blackjack or betting on the roulette wheel, well, betting on the roulette wheel is like four, more than four times higher hold, higher house edge than playing basic strategy blackjack. So the first thing you do is cut out, cut out playing roulette when you go to the casino. Obviously, if you're having fun, you consider this an expense, right? Like going to the movies. That's fine. That's what I'm trying to promote here. Like this, if you want a sports bet for entertainment, get the biggest bang for your buck. At minimum, at minimum, you're reducing so much of the edge that the sports books have against you by just simply betting on the lowest hold markets there are. And especially, even, even if you don't have access, people tell me, oh, I only have a DraftKings account. For some odd reason, they don't want they don't want to sign up for FanDuel. They don't want to sign up for new sports books or anything. They just have a DraftKings account. They just have a FanDuel account. They go, I, I can't even line shop. I'm not even line shopping because I only have access to one book. I think that's stupid, right? You had a better bang for your buck by opening up multiple sports betting accounts and getting the best price. Right, if you're going to go here on the Nets Grizzlies game, would you rather would you rather get uh, plus one fourteen or plus one twelve? It's only two cents. Well, it adds up over time. I'd rather get played played. I'd rather get plus one fourteen. But I'd also rather bet in the lowest hold markets. Right, the best line here is bookmaker at plus one twenty three. Right, here Caesars you get plus one eighteen. At MGM plus one ten, the hold in this market is 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 minimal. Right here, I'd much rather bet on the Nets Grizzlies game than on the Knicks Pistons game. On the money line, right here, right plus five hundred on the Pistons Pistons. It's a two and a half percent hold market. This has nothing to do with handicapping. This is just simple sports betting theory. And unabated does all the calculations for you. So your first step, your first step on your sports betting journey, you're trying, you're trying to go from being a losing recreational better to a break-even one, break-even-ish, using your promos, using your boosts, using, you know, any, any deposit bonuses, stuff in the right direction, right? You're trying to get the break-even first. You're trying to get not... You don't want to be minus 5%. You want to get to minus 2% first. Then to break even. Then to plus 2%. Then to plus 5%. Going from negative 5% to plus 5%, that's not possible. Unless you're randomly lucky, right? The concepts that you would need to learn in order to go from minus 5% to plus 5%, like, you still need to know this basic stuff. So signing up for unabated. Inputting the books that you have, books that you want to compare to, and paying attention to the synthetic hold of markets. One of the biggest weapons that you have. So you're not, so at minimum, at minimum, you're not making stupid, the stupidest bets. Right? And so, and here you could also, with the negative synthetic hold, possibly find arbitrage opportunities. Right? So we take a look here, right? Maybe not at this given time. There's some money lines. We go to some totals. Right here, look, it even comes up on the screen. Right? Negative synthetic hold. Negative. I mean, very, a very minimal amount. And it's highlighted on the screen for you. If you're, you have the unabated essentials package, right? The lowest tier. It'll show you. It may even show you on the free one. Right, but it'll show you all the books, right? So all the books that you have access to and all the books that you want to compare it to. So technically right now, at this very given moment of me recording this video, there's a way to go under 137.5 on Circa and over 135 on, on Sharp Book P. Bet on both sides and guarantee yourself just a just sliver, a sliver of profit, minus 9, 9.4%. Synthetic gold. But if you had the choice of just randomly betting on something, these this is what you'd be betting on. The Baylor TCU game. The Delaware State-North Carolina Central game. 
Like you go to, you go down to the bottom, this Eastern Shore uh, South Carolina State game, 4.34% synthetic hold. You're reducing your hold, you're reducing it by like 4%. Just simply betting on one game versus the other game. Even if you pick randomly pick a side. Open your eyes, close, flip a coin. Now, obviously, you got to do a little bit more than that in order to turn yourself from a break even or slightly losing better into a profitable one. But there's not many things, there's not many tricks in your tool bag that you could immediately gain. Three, four percent, two, three, four percent of edge in your favor, in your direction at least, than simply paying attention to the lowest synthetic hold markets. This is especially true in sides and totals. These are liquid, more efficient markets. And as it gets closer and closer to game time, the holds should get lower and lower and lower. So you see here this Baylor TCU game, like even if we took out Sharp Book P, right, which I I can't I can't bet at. So I take out some of these offshores, right? Go back, right? Save this. So all of what I'm available at and and circa. I mean Delaware State over one thirty six done, easy, right? I wanted to bet Mississippi Valley State under 136 and a half at minus 110. The synthetic hold of this market is less than 1%. Like if you if you did this over time, you would lose like the bare minimum. I know people are looking at going, I, 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 I want to win money. I want to win. I don't want to just lose the bare minimum. Well, you have to go from not losing 4% to losing barely anything. Before you get to the profitable part, right? No profitable sports better is poo-pooing synthetic hold. It doesn't understand just this basic concept. Anyone that does arbitrage, I mean, this is essentially, you know, the main thing that you're looking at. If you're an arbitrage better, you're trying to find these opportunities. So the bare minimum we could do is get an odd screen, like the one that unabated. Sort, I sort all of my odd screens, right? Here at Unabated by by, by synthetic hold. I, I mean, I literally do even for props for anything, right? We'll get into these edge numbers or anything like that. That's part of Unabated Premium. Comparing it to, you know, a sharp, a sharp calculated line. That'll be in another video, right? But the bare minimum, if I log out, right? And even just with the free version, Right, if I want to go to NBA today, I go, I go to the NBA screen with the NBA odds. Right, I could look here now. Everything that I match book is I, I I don't even want to calculate into this, but you could look. Go, what are the lowest hold markets? Right, this Raptors Pacers game, less than one percent. So what 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 do you have at at DraftKings or Caesars? Is it anywhere close? Right, minus one, minus six at minus one ten. It's not that bad, right? Minus six, minus one ten. Minus, see, minus six, minus one fifteen. Minus six, minus one twelve. So the Caesar's number, minus six, minus one ten, compared to the synthetic hold of the market, is is. I mean, it's it's not the worst bet in the world. Is is it is it a profitable bet? Probably not. But it's you're paying the least amount of hold to do so. That's the first step that you could take. That's what I try to stress here on the channel. And I'll be showing more of these tools that you could get at unabated.com. Intelligent betting tools, your direct path to intelligent betting. So feel free to go there, check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments. I answer all questions, right? We've got, we've got mailbag questions on, on Mondays. You throw it in the comments, I will answer it, okay? teaching you some of the fundamental concepts of sports betting, props, pick them, paramutual peer-to-peer games, anything you want here. So hit that like button on your way out the door. Hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Follow me on Twitter, at BlenderHD. And I'll see you out there on the sports betting streams.